Hey, welcome back to the Weekly Option. This is your host, Eric. I just wanted to post this trade. I was looking earlier at uh, Southwest Airlines, and they have had an amazing run, right? Amazing run. Uh, and lately, as of February, even the slope of their upward move has changed. But what's interesting right now is today they're having a bit of a pullback. So let's take this. Um, I'm going to look at this at a much uh, tighter level so you can, well, that's too tight. <laughs> at a much, uh, actually we can go to the five minute and actually do this, pull this on down. You'll see what's going on in this stock. So this morning, sorry, let me just stretch this on out. So this morning, so I turned this into a five minute chart. You can see we pulled up and have come on back down uh, to this 63.75 level. What I'm looking at right now is like a 63, 63 half call spread. So even though we pulled back a bit, I am willing to take a, uh, this is a bit of a daring thing to do um, because we've seen this, this stock sort of flatten out. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and give a little, little bit of a moving average. Uh, and get us a, a better sense of what's going on. I'm going to do a, a 10 and a 20. And I want to get a sense of whether this stock has uh, some support to move higher um, or if it's going to, uh, if I should expect it to fall. But right now, I like the odds of me buying an in the money spread. So really, it's been heading lower. This stock's been heading lower, uh, and if you look intraday, uh, over, I believe this is on Monday, the stock headed lower as well, and then on Tuesday got a nice pop and has headed lower since then, and we'll see if it gets another big pop. If I take this back out to the 30-minute level, I'll have to tighten it up so we, we can see it. This is what the 30-minute charts look like. So even though we've had a couple of pullbacks recently, this thing has really been on fire uh, strongly since March the 25th. And if we take it out before then, if we go to just even the one hour, you'll get to see that it had a couple of days of coming off. It had about two weeks of, of heading lower and then popping higher than it was before. So I, I am ultimately a believer in this. Um, and as you pull it further out, the stronger you're going to see uh, this this upward trend. So what I'm looking at is buying an in-the-money spread. The real question is when. It's the timing. So if I buy it with the, uh, let's look at it in April. So this is the spread that that expires in two days. So 63, 63 half. I can pick this spread up right now. Oh, did you see it just it just expanded out a little bit. They must know I'm making a video. <laughs> it just expanded out to 55 cents. That doesn't make sense. There you go. That's a little better. That's 40 cents. Again, this is an in the money spread that expires in two days. Um, I don't like two days really because I know this stock can head lower for two days. Um, so when I pull it out to the April 16th, that's next Friday roughly seven trading days from now, uh, eight if you count today, because I'm making this video on Wednesday, April the 7th. Um, right now, it looks like I can pick this spread up for 34 cents, which would mean that I'd have an upside of 16 cents, which is just just shy of a 50% return on my capital in, in two weeks or in, in 10 days. So this is probably the spread I'm going to take. We can take it out to two weeks from now um, and we're seeing that this one the 63 63 half uh, that's going to be 44 cents I don't like paying 44 cents for that spread because I can only make this is a 50 cent wide spread if you pay 44 cents for it then you only are going to have the upside of um, of six cents so that to me is not worth it um, six cents is like a that's like a 15 percent return which isn't bad um for for two and a half weeks of risk 
But if I have a better shot, I think I have a better shot at making uh, 16 cents uh, on this trade. But here's the bigger the bigger kicker is even if this pulls back and then pops higher again, um, I just what I'm really doing is paying uh, 30 32 cents 30, 34 cents for a for an in the money for an option right now that is 66 cents in the money. So I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go, gonna go ahead and put this out there. Um, I am willing to, uh, I'll bid 30, I'll bid uh, 34, right now 33 cents. I'll bid 31 cents, wow. I'll bid 31 cents for it right now. Send, got it. Paid 31 cents for that spread just like that. Um, essentially I paid 31 cents uh, to try and make 50 cents. So, because I paid 31 cents for it, if this stock ends up finishing above $63.50 in 10 days, essentially, uh, eight, well, nine, nine real days, April the 16th, um, then I will make 20 cents on my money. That's a 60% return on my capital. I didn't do it for size. You guys know if you listen to my podcast, I always talk about not doing things for like you never bet the house, but I'm willing to bet thirty thirty one dollars that I can make uh, essentially nineteen dollars, uh, just shy of twenty bucks uh, in a week, a uh, week and a half of risk. So that's it for today. Um, I obviously just all I need is for this stock to finish above sixty three dollars and fifty cents. I'm confident that it will in two weeks. But even if it doesn't, all I've risked is thirty thirty one. I can't remember. So it's thirty-one or thirty-two dollars. <laughs> Either way, it's it's worth it. And uh, and I uh, just wanted to make a little video for you guys. So that's it. A live trade that you got to follow me on. I'll go ahead and post this video out here so you can see it. Uh, take care, and as usual, happy trading. See you on the podcast in a couple days.